What's up guys, it is Brent back here, and we are going back into some more Lady Spire Downfall. So, this time, I add energized, added Energized Spire to our mod list. We're get a good, like, pretty, you know, sizable collection. Uh, add some more energy relics, which is kind of nice, um, even though, you know, there's some that we want. I feel like, especially, I think, Relic Quarry, quarry um, maybe even Hubers is what I'm thinking of, adds a lot that... I just that sometimes you just want energy. Uh, I feel like the last like couple of runs we've had, we've been lacking um, in the energy from the bosses. We've taken other things, but or taken other things, whatever the correct word might be. I think we are on the automaton here, level four. We're gonna embark here. Turn this down. Get everything situated. Um, let's see here. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, upgrade a card. I like the bronze core. Uh, rare colors might be what we go with. Uh, early shop. So three potions would be the other one to consider, I suppose. Got three elites there. My problem is I always forget potions. Um, as such, I don't want to try to take them and me not use them. And that left side with the three elites has a bunch of rest. That's what? Three, four? So I think that's the way we'll go. Let's lose the max HP here, and we will go with... Okay. What do I value more? Uh, I think thinking ahead is going to be the best. It's draw. It might not... You can make it not exhaust for these ones. How oh, they all do that? I don't know what's going to be better for me, though. A skill or a... A weapon. I don't know which one's better. For the automaton, specifically. Probably skills. From your draw pile at your hand but also the advantage of putting something back on top of your draw pile is kind of nice to pr like prepare for the next turn i think i'll do thinking ahead it's overall generally good um and since we don't know what exactly we're doing i think it's pretty nice um smith here maybe now let's just go for the recall here we have a lot of rests um in this path specifically so we probably can crack that key Fairly easily. Um, we will slap that defend back on top of the deck for next turn. We'll go with the three strikes. So, I hope everyone is doing good today. I did miss recording yesterday. Should have played that first. Um, I was... What did I do yesterday? I was just exhausted. I've had... Work's been quite lovely, as you could imagine. Uh, work being. And we have some guests coming up this weekend. So, I've spent a lot of my extra time I want to go for a delayed slice I think I always lose six HP so it's good or piercing shot let's go for the, th the free to take more advantage of a draw um, but I've been cleaning doing that kind of stuff around the house uh, plus working on our actual um, our actual house or um, moving, getting that moving ready, which I did on, what's today? I did on Monday. I, I forgot what today was, um, earlier, which was, is always funny when you think about it, because it should be easy to remember what day it is. But I did not, at all. I really thought today was Thursday and tomorrow was Friday, um, and when I found out it wasn't, I was very sad about it. We kind of got a draw into going here, so max output is pretty nice. Draw an additional card and add a daze or insert a daze. Do that. I like the draw power. Um, I always like take one of these in the beginning from the drone factory, but I feel like I regret it at the end. Burns, uh, dazes. I like the block pile. I mean. These two are the ones that are the most appealing currently. I guess this is damage and block on an attack, which is better. Um, it could be good for the gremlin knobs, kind of what I'm thinking, uh, just to have that kind of iron wave esque um, ability. Drop the defend. We're gonna do max output here. Got two more. Let's play the double strike. But yeah, it's just been a long day today, but I wanted to get the recording in. I had a little bit of time, but I wanted to try to 
prep some stuff for this weekend. Dazzling Pulse, there we go. Um, that way I don't miss any days. It's also kind of gross and stormy, so I can't do a lot else. Um, ba -dum -ba -dum -dum -bum -bum. I think I'll go Buggy Mess. We're kind of building into that status kind of vibe deck. Um, so I'm kind of happy to go for it here. Good offensively heavy hand to start off with the Merchant. Which is what you kind of want um, before they put up their panic button defense. This, they're doing 10 here. Not that much of a fan. I'm gonna hit them with that. But the double block here is very good. And we'll go with the single strike. We we'll got a little bit more damage on them and we're not gonna take anything, so I think we can enjoy. A lot of days though. I, I knew we were putting a bunch. What? Treasure? I, I guess that's considered status. Ooh, that's kind of fun. Ooh, just copying one here though. That's good. Get him down below 50. I feel like on the first fight with the merchant, um, getting 50 damage is not bad. Also, there's a very angry dog outside. Um, in addition to the angry dog, I've heard um, drum sets today, which are new around my apartment. Um, what else? There was another weird noise I heard earlier while I was um, unwinding from work. None of these are what I think we want. I don't think we have that many impactful single cards. Uh, on a second note, um, there was... Oh, um, in the side of our apartment building, um, I noticed as I was carrying in some groceries with my wife earlier that part of the building's just falling off. Um, the wood has been ate through by something, um, which I thought is always a very nice thing to see for your apartment. Um... We don't have a lot of money here. Do I go removal and just hope it's good? Like, I want some kind of payoff for these statuses we're adding. <laughs> Another max output is not it. Um, I mean, Wild Beam with the extra draw power could be good. Losing the Kuna here and the Peace Pipe kind of sucks, but I think we'll go with that. And then we'll take the blind just to have some weakness. It's not a bad thing to have. We will go for the... Max output being zero is not bad, but I think moreover we want the thinking ahead to not exhaust so we can get through our deck even faster. I don't see that as a bad thing. Overall pretty good. Hey, the <laughs> princely hat. Uh, very good. Uh, underrated a little bit from last time. Or I underrated it. Um, we want to throw back the um, blindness here is nice. Max output's good to get done. Dazzling, Replicate. I go go to and draw another card? I think so. Yeah, then we can set up the next one. And that's back into the deck. Could have been better to keep that, but same time I'm fine with it. Take a little damage here, but overall I think we're prepped. The weakness on this turn was kind of nice. And hopefully we get a good draw and can kill him this turn. Now with that hand we can't. And we have access to the Dazzling Copy here. What do we take him down to if we hit him twice? Oh, there's the delayed beam. Um, okay, yeah, we, we can finish him here. No, we cannot. I thought we could, um, but I needed to drink the flex potion. I was hoping to draw him just to, into another attack here. I mean, we should just play the fin and kill him this next turn. Are drawing a lot of daisies. So glove, relic quarry. Whenever you would discard a single card at the end of your turn, retain it. Weirdly specific, but that's fine. To our enemy for each function created this combat, not what we want. Uh, I'm always okay to see repair, especially on a path that's so elite heavy. Um, it's gonna be kind of nice to have. Heal 10 instead of healing seven. No, I want something more impactful. I think the delayed size upgrade will be nice. Cause I bet we will see, where's the other one? Oh, that, there's the last one. We might rest at this next one. Um, Centurions at some point. Is there... I guess we should create the function before we wake him up. Wake him up here. Well, we're going to wake him up anyway, so... This is the turn to do it. Playing run copy. Delayed slice. And then we go with the break. Not a bad opening turn. Not a great one. Possible flex potion would have been good. Again, I don't know why I'm holding it for... Um, better moment. 
I'll probably use it. Ooh, repair here is great. Um, so that gives me four block. Wild beam will be good. Gets the repair off. Then this is more block. Four block, ten damage. Or they go with five now. This is gonna be more. Technically, buggy mess would have been better, I guess, to gain one, but I don't. But it's fine. I'm thinking ahead here. Throw the wound back. Uh, let's do. Do I need to play my potion? Max out split here. Blindness. And the wrench. Uh, I think we got him next turn. Assuming we don't draw all dazes. A three plus five is. Nope. Lex potion will do it, but. I was trying to be stingy and save it. Effective glasses. Uh, if you end your turn with no cards in the sequence, game four block. Sign. A good or a bad. Uh, I like the idea of turbo, but man, I don't have a good place to use it right now. I think I will go for the rest here. A little bit of a waste, um, but we are stacking up relics here, so. Might as well. Not the best. Opening hand. There we go. Buggy mess really needs an upgrade to be to give us energy back. Right now it just kind of fills a slot. Well, I guess it gives us one energy when we play it there for free, but it's kind of just filling up a slot in our sequence currently. Ooh, the repair here will be nice. I want to get that off actually. Go for the wild beam here. There's the healing. We have four. We're going to take four again. Oh, no, we're not. We block eight because of our protective goggles. Pyramid rune? Interesting. This is a bad hand. We're getting weird statuses. Oh, but the strike six. That's enough. Let's go with the... Uh, I think the branch here. Let's just be selective on what we want. Even though I probably will select wrong. Blindness. Uh, we want the... I will get it back for free, so let's go damage here. Wild beam. Replicate. That's ten when eight. This is six, so you're dead. We'll take the weakness, but we should be fine. Alright, thinking ahead. Ooh, the repair here will be great. Let's throw that wound back up there. Repair, delayed slice. Go two. And we killed him. Very nice. We got a good amount of healing there. Overload, I've seen a thousand times. Uh, flail here is what I'm going with, though. And here's the Centurions. We've kind of prepared for this. So... Flail, all enemies. Dazzling to the front. Uh, okay. We cannot play another one. <laughs> Needed the additional energy. Which is fine. We got the AoE out. Uh, max output here. Can I get any more? No. Fly in that backliner. We're gonna replicate this one. Here's our damage and block across. Dead there. Let's whittle the next one down. And we have no cards in sequence, so four block. There we go. Remembering what relics I have. It's it's weird for me. That's the thing I do often. Um I can go back. I think we just got him on the crack here. We do. Regal pillow would have been good earlier, but it's fine. Cards you encode that can be upgraded. I mean, I'm not used optimized, so let's take it. I'm trying to be more optimistic about what cards I take. Uh, blind, go to, replicate, branch for damage here. And branch for block, dazzling pulse. All right, so the next, next set of things. Um, wild beam, max output. I feel like we should have had another energy there. Put the flail back, actually. I want that next turn. Okay. Was not expecting to break him this turn, but that's fine. Flail actually kills him in one hit, I think. Which means. Ugh, optimize. Let's kill this one. And not play this yet, and see if we can get our healing off. It'll be a good amount of healing. Repair. Thinking ahead. Uh, better to go strike. 
Uh, ship it. All damage to all your static cards. I mean, that's what we're kind of looking for. I think one of the cards I'm looking for this run is Compile Package. I've been told to take it a couple times, so I shall. We're going to do the weakness here. We had to play Defend because of that. Totally fine. Buggy mess. We'll put a status, but not too worried about it. All right. Three more here. The one shiv optimized. We'll make it a second one, but I think I'm still okay with that. Actually, we will take one damage because of that. Actually, no, we're going to empty our, our stuff here. So that's four more plus the block from there. Fine. Thought we were going to take more damage, but we're not. I was like, I've misplayed here, but no, we're good. Uh, I'm going to actually ship it can be used whenever. Nine, two damage for all status cards. Not in your hand, it's just all statuses. Ah. Um, we'll throw the days back. And um, I need block. I'm not going to get a lot of it here. So we go branch for the block. There's eight. Then chain, wild beam. Copy this a couple times. That's it. We got 12. Which technically would have been enough, but I needed to play those cards to get that, so. It is what it is. One to re or retain it. So this is just going to eat up our hand size. Which is fine, I suppose. Go ahead and play it out. Okay. We're going to hurt us hard this time. Yeah. Pretty good bit. Get that max output here. Ship it 15 now. Okay, we cannot play anything else. I feel like I had more energy there, but I was not paying attention, so. All right, here's the big turns. Dazzling Pulse. Status is an energy. Worked copy. Strike and strike. Okay. Oh, and we kept it because the uh, Silk Glove actually triggered. Okay, 16 damage. Oh, we have the blind, which will be good. Let's toss the treasure back to the next turn. Blind here. Defend, defend. Defend. I really need another card to get this out of the sequence. Okay, which hopefully will come up soon. Our deck is a lot of Garbo though. Uh, replicate here. Give me this. Wrench block for two though. Uh, I think I'd rather go forked, treasure, Right here. Not a lot of block though. Ow. It's fine. Bosses are more deadlier, but it's fine. Throw that wound back. Go for blindness. Go for the pulse. Draw me the wound back so I don't have it next time. Right to the end. Add. Artifacting from. Oh, that was from the Layla, I think. Boy, oh, we, apparently we're, I think we're recycling a void is what's the problem here. Let's go ahead with the double defend here. Get that void in the days out of the deck. Yeah. Okay. Chip it. 31. Which be we got it here. Yep. There we go. First boss down. We did not get, um, pop hacks, but hard code. Next time you create a function, add it to your deck. With the card used to create it, including this. Goes to zero, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, from your draw pile. Let's try hard code. What would I hard code? I can get rid of three cards when I do it, too. If I hard code... No, it's only this card, right? Yeah, the next time you create a function added to your deck, remove the card used to create it. Including this. So I could combine three cards, pretty much. So it's not the compile effect we'd be getting though. I think, right? It'd be just the function effects. So, what has good function effect? Doing, well, the artifacting is pretty good, but. Um. I think. Wild beam. Else. 
Dazzling Pulse. And one more. Maybe Delayed Slight? Well, that's four, just four damage. I want the AOE effect. Maybe Go 2, if I can upgrade it. Let's try Hard Code. I'm willing to give it a try. With a zero cost power in your draw pile that gives you one energy every turn. Weird. Okay. Ember. Start your turn. Take two damage for each energy beyond the third you spend each turn. Uh, I mean, I'd rather just take the third arm. I can wait a little bit for my extra energy. Like a little bit delayed. But I still have three to start with. Okay. Two elite path on the left side. Right side's got one. This one kind of sucks though. This one's okay. Not that exciting. Up here, neither is the. Well, this one's not bad. Well, no, here we go. Question marks. Shop. And then we'll go that way. And that gives us time to hard code something, maybe. Alright, let's upgrade. Break the ruby. Pretty good. I want to smith the. Go to, and then what we'll do is we'll try to make hard code it, and it's the next one, right? The the next time you create a function, so I gotta remember that. Try right, to do it here. So I'm gonna play hard code first. No, I can play these three just to get them out. Okay. There's dazzling, vim. Oh, there we go. So I want to have Dazzling. I don't want Delayed Slice in it though. I don't want any of these in it. So I just wait and take 12. Well, I'll take 10. Or two. Wild Beam. There's that. Play the basic strikes and the ship it. And then I need to hard code and play um, go to. Uh, put the, uh, 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 go to into my next other hand. Yes. That's fine. Go ahead and play optimize here. Blind, double defend. My next hand should have it. Go on to hard code and then go to. That was a bunch of stuff. So, I now have Dazzling Beam, which is 5 damage, 5 block. So it's 15 damage, draw 2 cards. 15 damage, draw 2 cards, and 5 block. Which is pretty good for 1. It only cost me a little bit of damage here. But we also removed 3 cards. <laughs> okay. This is a hand. Luckily he's not doing anything, but... If only I had something where every time we exhaust a card we deal damage. I hold the wound because of course I do. I'm thinking ahead. Let's get some stuff going here. Um, we'll throw the buggy the strike back to my next hand. Um, repair for the block. Buggy mess for energy. Go ahead and attack. Defend. And yeah, we're taking some damage for this card. Hopefully it's worth it. Another bad hand. Ugh. Strike. Gain some energy here. Double block. No more. All right, here we go. Here's all the cards we want. Wait, strike branch for block. Block again. Still gonna be taking a ton. Ugh. I'm 35 already. Ship it to 66 damage. There we go. Uh, bug bug barrage wound cycle. Status in your hand dealing salmon damage trees. We always have statuses in our hands. I think I'll take one. Now, I don't think we used hard code in the best. Obtain a relic, get pride. Where's our next shop? Two spaces. Sure. Just let this cube. Whenever you draw a curse or status card. Whenever you draw a curse or status card. Okay, we're gonna max out our hands. Always. But that's pretty good on our deck. Pretty much we get a free uh, free draw um, for the uh, daisies we're picking up because of the max output. Pretty good. Bajra, another strength. I'll take it. Let's remove the pride here. Um, but the hard code I think is best used when you could use, um, not separator, but like the to play the double playing card, whatever the name of it might be. 
I cannot remember it off the top of my head. But, however, let's get the shopkeeper down. Vim, um, fried out. Not the best opening hand. What I think I'll do is go ahead and drink this. We will get most of the effect off. I think all but the last one. And the repair here will be good. Weakness, great. Max output, optimize. Go ahead and play the repair. Upgrades it. Um, branch for block. Delayed slice here. Get the healing. A little more block there. Uh, I don't think I want a buggy mess. We'll ship it, I guess. Get that 32. All right, and the rest of this fight should be easy. Oh, her dazzling beam is still zero cost too, which is good. I was trying to think. I can't think of the word I was trying to remember. Um, it's not separator. That mage mutator. Remember, someone in the comments will correct me um, if it matters. But the playing the um, function that um, encoding the function that double stuff. Probably with like flail, um, say two flails and then doubling it would be a lot. But this one I, I feel was very good still. All right, ship it, it's fine. Do I have damage and block here? Replicate, let's blind him. This is a bit of damage. We'll math out all the damage at the end. Uh, throw the dazed back. So what's the best? So this is 12 and 9, so 21. I can play 13 and 8, so 20. It's all about the same. Sure. That was what we'll do. And we got most of our um, potion off, so. Pretty good fight. Ooh, safeguard. Another hard code? That would get another three cards out of our deck. And doing like safeguard, getting the cost reduced. That could be very good. What else would I put in there? All right, like hypothetically. Flail would be good. Just 12 damage AOE. Uh, it'd be, and we can reduce the cost of it by one if we play it right. That's the problem, I don't have a lot though. But I feel like another hard code would be fun because it also removes them from our deck, making us more consistent. Ooh, blockchain for one blur. Membership card here would be very good too. Another wild beam, oh, nice stuff. Membership card is gonna be great. I feel like blockchain is what I want. It's either blockchain or wild beam. I mean, one blur would be useful. Um, hum, hum, hum. Do I want the wild? I, it's between these two. Do I want more damage or do I want more sustain? What's the upgrade on you? Two? No, it gives the compile effect. Wow, this gains more damage. I feel like there's other better defensive cards. Yeah. I'd rather take that. Just get another big damage uh, card to add to the pool. It's gonna be hard to do it in the elite fights, but we'll smith. Let's upgrade. I know I wanna put Wild Beam in there. Flail would be good, but I like the artifacting. Like it's pretty good just to get that. And I don't mind playing it so much. Heal in there is not bad. Code then add a copy. No, that's not, it's not gonna keep that, it'll just remove it. I don't really want hard code to be free yet. Branch wouldn't be bad. Encode the option not chosen. So I could get a 10 block card to go with this. If I encode damage, or if I choose damage, I'll encode 10 block, let's go with that. And then we'll encode the branch, the wild beam. Um, and then probably one, one other card. Omomori, Curses, uh... Yeah, that's fine. I have to decide if that's what I wanted. Taskmasters, hello. E. Uh, yeah. Pride, Flail, I don't think I'll be playing my hard code this time. I think I want one more card to add to it. Ooh, friends, we're not, not necessary here. Um, we'll get the strike back. Um, repair here is great for the healing. Damage to all of them. Then six more AoE. Let's hit the backliner, see if we can kill him. 
be and so damage Ship it for eight oh, almost enough to kill it i've been good but i knew we couldn't really play around with this fight there's our big one replicate and oh, oh wait yeah buggy mess here replicate we get that back and then yeah six here. or eight there we have two strength Blood vial, very good for healing. A little bit of sustain, and I'm happy for the Entropic Brew. Another Wild Beam. That'd be a, just a big punch card. A zero cost, 23 damage, 10 block. Yeah, okay. Be hard to get off on the next Elite, but we'll try it. Um, what's the rest of the path look like? One more rest here. Let's go ahead and rest early. We'll upgrade on the next one. Because if not, it's going to be kind of hard to. Ghost Sneko with Metallicize. Hard code is here, but we cannot out of their weight around to play it. So let's go ahead and do the branch for damage. Even though we just want to encode it. It's gonna get hard to play. Oh, we retain that too. Um none of these we want to. Uh, we are gonna take damage. Um let's go blind. Let's go hard code and let's wait. Unfortunately, we will take some damage. There's one of the wild beams. Let's do strike first, then wild beam, and then max output. There's the other one. And there we go. Got two wounds, but the card is now in the deck. Let's look at that there. Yep, forked beam, 10 block, 13, 13. Pretty good. Uh, it did cost us a lot. Ah. Go ahead and drink. See what we get here. Let's see if we can get some block out of this card. Nope. <laughs> Master strategy is pretty good, but... Oh, wait. Actually, there we go. A little bit of block right there. Plus 18. We only take five. And that's another four cards removed for our deck, which is pretty nice. Ooh, 31 here is going to suck. Well, let's see what we can do about it. Um, the weakness will be great. Delayed Slice, actually very good. Um, we're going to flail, do some damage. We'll go ahead and repair and get that done. Cannot play this yet, but overall, we got most of the block we needed. And we're back almost to full health. Okay. Dazzling Beam. Ship it? Actually just like a solid... Um, like mid-damage card, I'd call it. Um, where it's just there enough to um, provide uh, like 20 damage midway through a fight consistently um, and with all the draw we're doing it's not like we um, can't use it at some point Art of War is not going to be that useful but Emerald Key is great another repair nah separator nah no nah. nah. we're, we're, we're almost up to max it's, we don't need to add another card we're, we got 23 cards, some of which we do and do not want. Um, but I think that's more optimum than adding another. I don't think we need that much defense because they don't add a lot of overall um, damage to our deck. Well, potential. It's four block. Like the healing's good, but hopefully we won't need to heal that much. So. One, two, get the draw. You. Blind the backliner here. He's knocked down. Go for the repair for AoE damage here. Yep. I could kill them or I could knock one at you a bunch. And then actually Bug Barrage will knock you down. And there's our um, energy for the turns. So I'm pretty happy with that. Alright, we're full health now. Blackliner, all of them are dead. <laughs> Was not expecting to kill him. Another flail, I'll take. If we get another hard code, I would be okay to put three of them in there. And I will actually read the Art of War here. Because we're at full, full HP. Um, I don't see why not. I think it'll allow us to play... Two attacks will be doubled the next time we play them. I can't 100% remember, but we'll find out together. Okay. Now... The protective goggles and the princely hat are kind of working against me because 
this adds block and then this modifies it to give it more block, which you think would be fine, but it's on turns that I don't need it specifically. Additional block here, and eh, not a lot though. I, I would need kind of one more card. Flail here is good. Uh, flailing wrench here. A little bit of block. We emptied out our Q. Die max here. Eh. I guess so though. Thinking ahead. Yeah, there we go. Buggy barrage. This is block. There we go. Oh, that is into. Expecting that. Repulsor. It's whenever you draw the first status card. Exhaust it and draw a card. I'll take it. We have plenty of statuses. Could be one one more additional draw, plus it gets it out of the deck. Choose a card within code. Start each combat with that card in the sequence. Remove a rare card. Gain 10 max HP and heal it full. Remove a card, gain a random card within code. Is there a rare card I'd want to remove? I don't want to remove thinking ahead. Or ship it. We can just remove a card and gain a card. Let's remove the red. And we gained oil spell. Totally fine. Not a card I really need specifically, but it's not one that I um, am against specifically. All right, we want to go with the block here. Weird. I thought we removed, we did remove branch from the deck. Why was it still here? Use an exhaust. Did we add a second branch? I guess it wasn't removed specifically. Yeah, because there it is. But all the other ones were removed when we added them together. Hmm. A little bit of a note there, I guess. Weird note. Okay. One damage here. Or four. Four damage. Did math wrong. Optimize. Fork beam. Ton of damage. Um. I just want to block, I guess. Yeah. Double block. Don't want to take any more. See if we can heal up what we got here. Dazzling beam. There's the energy. I could double that in some way. It would be kind of cool. Kind of wanted our healing. Put the strike back. Hit him. And we're done. Philosophize. One strength. Oh, uh, error. All enemies gain two strength. This would be another one to hard code. I'll take it, though. We have a lot of multiple attack cards. And this is the Mushroom Ironclad, who attacks a lot on the first turn. Not very nice of you, sir. I'm going to put a strike back on the top. Um, one, two, three, so we can go ahead and do this. Gain the block here. There. Then you can play it again for a little bit more. And that's enough to um, get through what he's doing the first time. He's probably summoning this turn. Yep. Badoop. Do that to you. That. Um, I guess I want... Well, do I want to give him the two strength to start with? Not really. I think we'll hold off on the philosophize. We can, um, we'll flail him, but barrage just to a little bit of damage. And we got the delayed slice off. Continue around here. Here's his mushroom friends, which we have some AOE, so I'm not too sad about it. Upgrade that flail and get this card back here. They're dead. I wasn't expecting that. Three, we will gain four. So we want to just poke this dude. We just want to um, make sure we don't encode anything. All right, is he gonna summon more friends? I'm wondering. No. All right, I need to fence here, so let me look. Or I do not have any. Fork beam's free, so we should just play that. Thinking ahead. Not a lot of block back, unfortunately. I can't kill him this turn. Uh, let's armor tincture. I should have done this earlier if I was going to. Um, defend, 19, 28, so we need another one. And then whatever we play just to finalize it. There we go. Plenty there. Good way to do it. So he's probably, yeah, he's doing smaller attacks again. Dazzling beam. Five. A little bit more. Defense. Now we're up to 14, which is enough. So we just want to make sure we don't give him any strength. And we cannot encode anything or we'll lose that block. All right, he has flame barrier. I got to remember that because I won't. Um, blind. Do I have any block first? He's doing six with each one. 
but it sucks. And that will give me four. So I kind of have to double defend and then I can play. No, I can't play that, I don't think. This is a weird one. Because if I play this, I'm going to hit him twice. Which in turn will hit me for six twice. Yeah. I just wait. I mean, I can hit him for six. But it's going to encode and I'll lose some of my block. What are the wait? It's a weird one, but that's gone now. He's up to seven. Um, but dum but um, thinking ahead here. Oh, there's the flailing one. Get out of here. All right, flailing slice. There's a bunch of them, and he's dead. Perfect. I like that fire potion's pretty good. There's dev tools. I think I said I would take it the next time. I was told there was that in compile package. I heard was good. I'll take it. I also like the double white house. But let's read them all. The start of your turn, lose five block. I don't want to do that. Um, this is from Energized Fire. We actually see one huge house. And game winner, the start of your turn. Upon pickup, lose one random potion. Lose 50 souls. Lower your maxes by five. Attain one strike and transform one random card. That's weird. You turn gain two orbs and channel that many random orbs. Whenever you play a power, channel a random orb at the start of your turn for three turns. For three turns. So if we play a bunch of powers, which we have a few, I'm actually not opposed to this. We could get plasma, which would be kind of nice. But is there any other defect cards I really want? Is there any other cards I want? What does take it? Defense has access to some pretty good defensive stuff. And I'm not like hurting for energy, I don't think. Okay, elite. Left side seems to be the popular side today. But right's got two elite path also. No access to shops, though. The left side's got two shops and two elites. Uh, yeah. Question is, do I go? Do I need three shops back to back? Really? I'll go this way, far left, I think. Let's read that book. Red. If you do not play attack next turn, uh, gain an additional energy and attack still double damage next turn. Not bad. Could have been better with an upgrade, but it's Double flail here. Well, I can only play one of them. But keep that in mind. Weaken the 12. 5. Right? Actually, this was more because of the hel helmet, but... Dev tools. We'll play it. Let's optimize first. Branch for damage, I think. And we'll get the block up there. Okay. Dev tools. Let's read this one. Debug. Remove all compile error effects. No, we don't need to do that. Create function mainly out of the cards in the sequence. Wouldn't be bad. If, and draw a card for each card exhausted. Not bad either. And retain. I think we'll just batch them. I get a... Uh, we'll batch this function as two. That was pretty good. Then we can... End again. And we will... Kill this one. Which is fine. Plenty of defense. Knocked one of them out of the fight, which I think saved us a little bit of HP. And that'll allow us to focus down on the other two. Which I think we can kill him. Yep. I kind of want to see the balloon right now. Uh, this is fine. There's fusion, and that's kind of what I wanted. We had lightning and frost at the time, I didn't even notice. I mean, fusion for one additional energy each turn, pretty much. Take out the two frost orbs, so we have four block there. Uh, I'm gonna hopefully, well, I can't really let AoE kill this man. Six damage and some poison, let's defend. Oil spill you to start wielding you down. Yep, like that. Then damage and poison. I mean, I can just kill this one to stop him from dazing me. But we lose the repair, which is sad. Why don't we keep the repair because of our white glove? Repair here. He's doing six with that. Ugh. Buggy mess for the energy back. It hurt a lot. E Do it anyway. Ow. Yep, I hurt about as much as I thought. Oh, plus the nine there. Well, five there. Oh no, we got 15. Oh, 
our hat. Gotcha. Um, what? Both spikers. Defend me. And I kill this one, I guess. And we draw. Um, put this on the top. Do this. Well. Oh, there we go. Next, this is doing 19. Well, this should be enough. I think we won't take anything. We didn't. Cool. Cultist potion. That is very good. Um, bit shit. Light bulb. Light. No, no, none of these. Even though I don't feel like we have a 28 card deck. I haven't removed a lot of cards, I guess. Is what the difference is. I only have one shop here. Which I actually think maybe I should have went the other one to get more shops. Pretty boss card. Let's just add one. If we want it. No, I don't want it. I'm happy with my 28 card deck. Spikers here were not what I wanted to see. Optimized to start with. That block. Let's get the backliner actually. Go for block here. Mostly so we can get damage on the aftermath. Play this. Damage him. Damage them. Draw some cards. Blade slice. I can kind of almost knock. Yeah, I knocked the back line out first. And we have 57 block for some reason. Don't know why. Um, we got a dark orb. I don't know why I played this first. Oh, we get to put this in our hand. Um, so we're going to think ahead and draw. What's this batch? I feel like that's a good one to do. And we didn't draw anything. Good. So put the batch back in my other hand. Oh, we're just drawing them. Um... Hmm. Didn't really get a good hand here. Oh, we still do the 10 damage, though. Interesting. I didn't think we would. I thought it would just come to our hand and we would miss out on our effects. So technically, Batch is very good in the fact that you can instantly get the effects of ones that are just stuck up there. Stuck up in your, um... Q. In here, we're going to replicate, I guess. I do six. No, that's fine. Oh, we didn't get any block. It's fine. Oh, we got a water orb. Interesting. Bunch of energy this turn, though. Uh, we want to block. Want to ship for 11. Not really. Ugh. These all kind of suck. Any, any way I go, I'm going to take damage. Give myself strength. And then let's... I don't want to take that much damage. Just wait. He's up to th 10 thorns. Uh, okay. Fusion here. Yeah, we can just whittle him away with other things. Uh, yeah, I don't have enough block to block through him. Oh, wait, now I do. Tiny poke. There we go. Glacier mm. is pretty good, but I don't think I need it. Right, interact. Add a madness plus. A free madness to kill from your From a previous adventure. I mean, let's try it. We took the Omomori here. Ooh, upgraded, <laughs> upgraded ship heads. Oh, that's kind of cool. That it remembers the last time you played this character and what the cards were. I like that a lot. A bug barrage? Infinite loop is also pretty funny. Hmm. I don't even know what I want. Like, I did it just to see what we'd get, but now that I'm here, I really want anything. I think we'll just go with a... Because I'm thinking I can... Yeah, hmm. We'll see. Let's... Let's do blockchain. I talked it up earlier, but we do accumulate a lot of blocks sometimes. What I'm thinking right now... Oh, we have dev tools too. I was thinking we could remove some cards and get a better bonus for not having rares. No ceramic fish. Not worth it. Okay, 
Because ship it's not really doing a lot for us. Get this man here. Okay. All right there. Optimize. Dazzling. Oh, he has stupid uh, protection here. I don't even want to make this card spin. We'll save the rest for in a minute. So yeah, we can now break this to get the advantage. Right, here's the flail. Got that. Extra damage. Fusion. Dev tools. That do oh, we retain it. I'm burning 33 here. I don't think I can, and I definitely can't kill you. Um, well, I could buggy mess, oil spill, then draw cards. Yeah, let's do this, this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna decompile, which seems the best way. Uh, void here. Well, we got it out of our hand at least. Um, block, defend. Oh, we draw more cards. There we go. We're getting more into it. Uh, Vim, blockchain, repulsor, fence. We got a little defense up out of that. Not a lot. Yeah. Ooh. Not feel good. Alright. Let's get our healing off now. Uh, um, bug barrage here. Get rid of all those. Lail. And he's dead. And we got the healing. Tattered rug. You can sell potions to the merchant. I think we were going to be able, we were going to be able to do that anyway. Hologram's pretty good here. Let's get back and recycle into the cards we want. Since our deck is like 20% curse. Do that. Also, if I decompile this, do I just never get the compile error effect? No idea. I'll do that for blockchain. Fusion for fun. Another kind of bad hand. Yep, and we got our draw card on the wrong time. Which needs to be upgraded. But a lot of our good stuff in one good turn. That. That. Air. Buggy. Strength and blur. We did give him a little strength, but that's fine. But we will carry over this till next turn. With the blur. Which we have two of. Hologram back, something good. Strength and blur, that's fine. Thinking ahead. Um, the defense back, I guess. <clears throat> blur, so we continue keeping that. Um, let's decompile these two. I actually don't need them. But yeah, they do, they don't ever compile, so you don't ever get their negatives. Well, not ever, but you don't get them currently. Now replicate, and then we'll get this card back. And we have 65 block. It's not as much block as the last run, but it's still fairly impressive. Oh, receptor problem. Whenever this card is drawn, lose two focus until the start of your next turn. Well, that's a weird one to get. So I'll do that. Get all of the um, artifacting going. Uh, max output here. Dazzling. We have so much draw power. I get my hands full. We're going to try to slowly empty it. Um, finishing. Oh, we can't play that. Drop the the finishing flail back to the top. Weakness. And yeah, ship it has not done us favor. Is there any way I could kill them? Let's try doing this. We could get thinking ahead again. Draw those. Did not draw anything into anything we wanted though. Put that back. We're not taking damage though. I'm not too worried. <clears throat> and then we hit him. Alright, don't need the fear. Terminators, while it's good, I don't think we need it. No, ah, I'm pretty happy with what we got. Jobkeeper, you should be easy enough. A little under half. Fusion early is pretty nice. Orc Dream just to hit you for fun. Not the best opening though. Okay, 20 coming in. We cannot, yeah, we can't do something. Um, we're gonna go for damage. Hologram back, fork beam for damage. Then we dev tool here, decompile. Get that out of there. 
Buggy mess is not what I wanted to see. But if I even gave him philosophize and gave him five, make it easier to kill him. Oh, I didn't even give that to him yet. So this is the right time to play it. Okay. Vim, optimize. Uh, this isn't the right turn. Uh, I mean, flail's fine. Chip it some damage. But we really need to have a pretty aggressive next turn. Because he's trying to baboose. Dazzling. Okay, yeah. This will probably do it. Yep. How much did we get here? 345, plus we have the discount, so we should get a few things. Our powers and enemy has now. Nope, I'm good on these. Okay, there's some new stuff in here. Okay. Ball bearings. Whenever your chef use draw pile, a flash of steel or finesse chosen. I don't remember what Flash of Steel or Finesse is. Finesse is a draw card. Flash of Steel is a damage and draw card, I think. I don't know how many of see it. Whenever we play, apply poison to an enemy that wasn't poison, too vulnerably and weak. Okay. Not bad. Is there a card I needed to remove? Did not mean to exit the shop. Yeah, I, mean, I thought about removing the skip it. I think I, I mean, is this more damage, but if I can remove it and devs tools, I can get a bonus. I don't have another shop unless I get one here though. Cause yeah, we don't, do we have a break? We can break as long as we have the money. Let's try it. Let's remove the ship up. I don't know when the bonus is exactly calculated. If it's now or the end of the run. Um, toxic vial is good. I'll try ball bearing. Let's keep the rest of the money because I don't think anything here else I want. If we get another shop, I'd rather have the money. Plus breaking the keys is important. All right, pulsar, replicate, hologram, replicate. All right, taking a ton of damage here. Yeah, this run is not super good. It is just interesting to me. Um, we'll fusion out the get the draw. Ugh, another bad turn. Okay, and then we do the copying here. He's gone. Nice. We repair. Buggy mess for free. Branch for damage. Yep. And then we do this for more block and energy. Poison oh, the backliner. And he's also weak now. Which is pretty cool. Tox Vile Toxin is pretty nice. Nine energy this turn, so... Try to make the most of it. Um, we'll just throw a Philosophize back. Blindness. We need to draw more cards. To decompile those two. Okay, that should do it, probably. Ooh, did not want to play the Defend, but we're good. So all worked out. Uh, um, nope. Okay, shop. Nope. And down the merchant, we could do it. Might as well. That's kind of what I wanted to do. Um, very fast. You play every unique playable card in your deck. Uh, in one combat, at a rare relic. That combat. The next time you play every. Unique playable card in your deck. In one combat, add one rare relic to the combat drawer. That's weird and wild. Um, we need like 250, I think. So we need to make sure we take what we want. Um, Link of Courage, yes. Remove the dev. Even though I like, I do like dev tools. I just want the bonus here. I think we still have enough. Proceed, do we have enough? Yes, just barely. All that, so we have, we need to play 20 cards. Need playable card, interesting. So less cards in your deck, the better. We have 20 cards we gotta play. I think I wanna upgrade the max output, I think. Actually, or the buggy mess, both those could be good. Yeah, let's do that. I think the energy will matter more than the draw. 
I feel like we already draw a pretty good bit. All right, thinking ahead. So the strike back, um, replicate, wild beam. Yep, uh, we should optimize first. Poison defend. All right, fourteen cards done. Interesting. I wish it told me what cards I haven't played. Right click to show unplayed cards. It does, which is awesome. Um, we're gonna flail here, which is great. Hit this one, max. All right, and then we wait. Okay. Ooh, they are doing 32 damage here. Branch for block. Flail for damage. Vim. 11 more cards we have to play. We are taking a fair bit here. Ow. I'd like to heal if I can. Yeah, repair. Healing. Blur. Weakness. Dazzling. They're dead. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to play all the cards. Yeah, you have to do it in one combat. Or even chain, whenever you play a power, put an ethereal copy into your hand. I feel like we get that a lot. Um, none of these. I want to keep my card count lower. All right, spike growth. Or spire growth. Then, that. Yeah, this is not for a 30 card deck. <laughs> it is hard to do it. Oh. Hmm. Um. Well. I see how we can do this now. All right, uh, max out put here. Weakness. Um, I wanted to play another card to finish this. Uh, fork being gets blocked though. There we go. And then we play this. So are we getting five energy a turn now? Yeah. To it, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Not expecting that to work out specifically like that. Um, we're just gonna bring block mine back. Fusion, branch, block. 20 block here. Um, this will kill them. I knew this thing breaks things, but it's always fun to see in what way. Okay, so they're doing four damage to start this turn. Go ahead and get the block here for that. Damage, get the buggy mess, just uh, get it into circulation. All right. Damage, um, ooh, they're doing a lot of damage this time. Draw one card. Oil spill is not the card I wanted to see here. Um, that'll give us damage instead of block. The Block here. I mean, we should do it just to get some block, but it's not a lot, unfortunately. Yeah, they're doing like 26. There it is. Yep. Did not perfect this one. Plasma here. Block chain. Still did not get a lot this time. Not quite set up. Ooh, we're down to 17. Okay. Oh, he's getting focused every time we play a record. Oh, we're not going to get it because we have thinking ahead. I forgot about that card. And we'll do that. Hologram here to bring back. I guess in Forked Mess would be good. Pays for itself. Pulsar. Max output. Um, optimize. Forked Beam. There's probably other cards. I, I don't know which one of these I should be playing more of. Um, the blur is great and block. The sex to optimize does not sound that great to me. But I'm hoping I have enough uh, block, mean enough energy this turn to do something fun if I get my energy card. A six. Yeah. Okay. One. Two. A three. I don't want to play a third time. I think it's fine. Blur, block. We're at the 30 though. I still think we're good though with playing it three times gives us three additional energy every turn. Um, I think we're good. Just to coast out the rest of the fight. Okay. Let's see what we do. We have so many random effects going on now. Flail, and then we can replicate. Gives us delayed flail. 
Thinking ahead will give him more focus, but I'm not that worried about it. Um, drop the philosophize to the back. Go bug barrage. All these out. Wish blindness did more done, but it does not. Hologram back the forked mess. That go in. Strike. Strike. We're not gonna die from this, I don't think. No, we're just gonna take a lot of damage. Actually, we might not actually. Uh, no, we won't. I did it wrong. He was, uh, multicasting the Frost Orb. Which worked in my favor. Book Barrage. And that's it. Got the win there. Did not... I think we played through all but one card, which I don't know what that card was. I don't know if we would have got the reward, though. Even if we, um, would have got that card out. And I actually think we can remove the... Um, the thinking ahead, even though I like the card in my deck, I want the bonus. I don't know if we'll technically get it, but I want to see. Blind. Max. I don't need another one. Fork beam. Blazing. Um, delayed. Flail. Buggy mess. I can get the philosophize up here. Give me another energy here. And we'll defend. Not bad. Channeling. Interesting. The channeling instances get weird later. Treasure, I don't really want. Thinking ahead here. Let's get this out of here. Uh, give me back the repair, I guess. In turn. Alright, the apotheosis sinks. That means the bomb will go up this turn, so we need... 50 block. I don't know if I can manage that really. Block here. Alright, repulsor. Replicate. 26 is all I can get to. Yep, we're gonna take a big 20, I mean, 20 damage. It's gonna hurt. Okay. You're attacking this turn? Yeah, he is. But we can play this a couple times. Should be enough. Um, optimize. Branch for the block, I think. Replicate. Oil spill, and then we'll play it again. Some damage. And yeah, we're fine. Okay, we should be have a ton of energy this turn. Six energy every turn. Not bad. Ooh, this is the bad turn, though. Uh, drop the basic strike, I guess. Bug barrage here. A blind was not at the right time, though. I don't think I can kill him, even if I hit him 12, 12, 30, that's 36. 20 now. Not enough. Oh, he's taking 11, but... We might be dead. Oh, down to 9. We kind of have to kill him this turn. And there's the repair, at least. Yeah, can I get the repair off? No. Um, let's just go for the kill. One card short. Yeah, we probably won't be now, but there's calipers. We are looking at that last time. Gain one strength. Transform a status in your hand to copy of this card. Retaining. I mean, it allows us to get a bunch of strength, but... I'm good. Skip the card. Shop. What do you got? Unceasing top, which is hat of infinite power the first time. More than uh, one energy, and lose one energy less. Interesting. I mean, I'm just gonna go for the remove the thinking ahead to uh, see what it does, but I don't think that's quite enough. We will upgrade the repair to um, get a little bit of extra healing during the fight, but one bad turn and we are gone. All right. I really want to save the cultist potion for the Neo fight. Let's go ahead. We'll drink the strength potion this turn um, We'll bug barrage here to see if we draw something good get the bewilder out. I'm fine with that Lose a bunch of garbage. I would have liked to get the plasma out, but it's not the end of the world Blind this man Branch gain the block Max output Strike replicate call it there 
get the void next turn, which kind of sucks. Okay. Okay. Not too bad. Not terrible. Ooh, a little bit of damage coming in. Um, we will repair here. That'll be good. Forked block. We're up to 27. That's plenty. Oil spill. Get it out. And we get the voids out of there, too. Which is very nice. Okay. A uh, buggy mana? Yeah. Hmm. No draw, though. Okay, buggy mess. Flail. Damage, oil mess. Then we repulsor, I guess? Yeah. And then we'll get four from our glasses. Oh, we could have played the strike. Actually, no, we wanted the block. It was intentional, of course. I think part of our problem is this fights are just gonna go so long. Oh, this one. Oh, that's the first one. We only got three energy, though. So, we'll play it once. One more. Oh, okay, we got two energy left. So let's do the fork beam. Actually, that's a lot of our... Is that enough block? Yeah, that's 13. One more. There we go. And then we got the dazzling beam, too. If I get more energy, I'll do it. But that'll work. Six energy a turn should do us quite well. You fend off the ironclad and stuff. Oh, eight. Plus, because I'm assuming Art of War. Yeah, it's activated. Does this double damage? No, it's not yet. What a mess. Get the blind here. Flail, philosophize, strike. All right. The channeling is going nuts on my character. Oh, yeah. Let's go bug barrage here. Put that in there. Finesse. Put the beam. Oily mess. And he's done. Go ahead and blockchain here. Just get that going. Oh, I should have played another defense to uh, keep it with my blur, but it's fine. Don't know if we even need it. All right. Flash of Steel. Blind. Dazzling. Forked. Ooh. Ooh, that's a lot of a lot of voids there. Okay, and we still had enough to hit him again. All right, we want another blur this kind of turn. That way we can keep our forty block. We also have caliper, so we won't lose it all either way. Um, forked beam, late slice, flash of steel, like this. Another flash of steel. I guess we're shuffling through our deck so much. Hologram, we'll bring back the fork beam. Bug brush here, I guess. Yep. And that blur again. Then we... Wait to see what happens. Ooh, just a little bit. Okay. Finesse, finesse, flash of steel, flash of steel, weakness. That should do it, right? Close. There we go. All right, we did keep the cultist potion and we will go to Niao. I'm still not sure. We have a lot of setup we have to get done, um, but we can heal a little bit. He's going to gain two strength whenever we play a rare card. Don't have any. And zero cost cards, he will uh, will take four damage. Okay, drink that. Well, what's a block to start with? Hologram. Oh, he didn't. Oh, hologram was not at zero cost. Blind, flail, replicate. Not too bad of step. Oh, let's go ahead and throw this too. Throw the fire potion. Now he has the abilities. Fusion here. And we will we'll take four damage. Blockchain, and then we'll do this. Oh, it's four damage every time, unlike the normal one, which is four damage um, the first time. All right, too bad. We're scaling, just not quick. Yeah, because here comes 30. There. Let's mount max here. Ooh, bewilder, kind of sucks. Buggy mess, though, will help. And blur energy. Not the best. 
All right, we are gonna take 30 to the dome. Oh, no, we're not. We're taking 10 to the dome. All of our extra stuff giving us block. All right, this is pretty nice. Throw away the Bewilder. Fork Beam. Dazzling. Aged here, kind of stinks. Go for the damage. Right here. We still haven't seen our, uh, our Vix. Vapor Rub. Oh, there it is, Vim. Oh, gross. All of our cards are ethereal. Um, I'm all in the statuses. I'm kind of okay with that, though. Yeah, optimize, take the four. Repulsor, one. Okay, um, we actually will die here. Looking at it, I forgot we actually need block cards. So while I can do this all day, we're still taking 36. It's a good fight, it was a good try. Oh, look at all the statuses too. Yeah, we're, we're, we were doomed. But that was a fun little combo between the um, Iridium Chain and the Third Arm. New unlocks. Bronze Idol statuses cards may now be played for useful effects. Very cool, but nice there. Uh, start of each combat, draw three additional cards and add one days. There we go. I mean, that's um, the same as the, whatchamacallit? I can't even think of the name of it. The max output. And then, don't use watch at the start. Comment, game one engine and one void. Ooh, that one's worse. <laughs> but not too bad. Did we get no we didn't get um whatever the power is for oh we only got one perfect. I thought we got two. For having no rare cards. I was hoping we'd get it in the end, but you have to do it I guess before you go to the final fight. But that's gonna do it for this episode guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did you can hit that like button or subscribe for see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.